Let's move on to fight number two. So let's move on to the next fight. The next fight we have Jack Shore versus Aaron Phillips. Uh, let's talk a little bit about those guys real quick. Jack Shore, he's 25 years old. He's five feet, nine inches tall, and he's 12 and 0, including a win over former UFC fighter Von Lee. And he's currently 1 0 in the UFC with a win over Nolan Hernandez. Mm -hmm. um, and then we look at Aaron Phillips. Aaron mm -hmm. Phillips is 30 years old. He's five feet nine inches tall. He's 12 and three. He made his UFC debut back in 2014. Um, he's 0 and 2 in the UFC, but currently he's on an, on a five fight win streak since 2018. What do you think about these guys? Well, this is this is going to be an interesting fight again. You know, we are in Abu Dhabi, Fight Island, Yaz Island there, um, and Aaron's stepping in on short notice. Mm -hmm. So um, after uh, what was it? Anderson Dos Santos tested positive for COVID, so he got pulled from the card. Uh, one thing I did notice is that this is Aaron's second stint in the UFC. Yep. Um, you know, he previously went 0-2 in the UFC against Sam Cecilia and Matt Hobar. Mm -hmm. So he's coming back on short notice. Now, short notice fights, I usually wouldn't give too much thought into that, but they are going to Fight Island, and they're going to be fighting in the morning again. Yep. So that's gonna that takes some impact, and that kind of plays into where I made my pick this week, last week. I didn't really think of that too much when I was making my picks, and I'm like, "Oh, dude, I totally forgot they were fighting at two, two three, eight, in three o'clock in the morning." Depending on what, the, depending on what the your order fight on is. the card too. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's gonna take some uh, there. But one thing I noticed is that, uh, you know, he can defend the takedown, defends pretty well off his back, and he has. Some, Who is that? Aaron Phillips. Yeah, Aaron Phillips has some. Uh, he can defend the takedown there, man. Um, I think he has. He was a high school wrestler, so he that was makes a high sense. school wrestler. He should be able to defend against some takedowns. Yeah. And, I mean, he has power in his punches, and he, he has really nice kicks. Mm -hmm. I like the kicks that I saw from him. And the kicks come from the fact that he's also a fourth-degree degree black belt in Taekwondo. There you go. So, um, um, yeah. The one thing I did notice, though, is Jack, sure, yep. is relentless. He's a monster. He's a beast. Yeah. The guy comes in, and he doesn't stop. And he, you know what he's going to do. As soon as that bell rings, he's going to come and take it down. Well, he might. He might. He's, he he's likes going to, for that takedown. He down. likes to come in and get the takedown. But you also have to remember, he's also a former Welsh boxing mm -hmm. jun junior champion, right? Yeah. So he's the uh, former Cage Warriors bantamweight champion as well. So he's got a ton of experience. He's comfortable on his feet. He's a kickboxing black belt. He averages you know? five takedowns per yeah. fight. He's going to get he, it he down. Does. I think he's going to get I it think, down. I think in the long run, yeah, that's what he's looking to do is take him down. I don't know if it's going to come right away at the beginning. Maybe. I, I think so. You do see a lot of them right from the very beginning. But the way when you videos, watch his fights is what I'm he saying. Comes he comes in. He comes in and he'll throw like a quick overhand right. Yeah. And ducks underneath just to yeah. get you to raise your arms up. It's not even like a real punch. He just brings it over the top, gets you to pick your arms up to block, and then he shoots under instantly yeah. for that so, double. And and Jack Shore, he's he's uh, also, he's got, he, this guy is like a true mixed martial artist and it runs in the family. Um, but he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt. Yeah. And he's a combat jiu-jitsu black belt on top mm -hmm. of that. His dad is actually, uh, his name is Richard Shore. He's a, he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Yeah. So, Martial arts just runs in the family yeah, with this guy. Um, and, and, and he also has multiple, his dad has multiple different black belts as well. He competed as an amateur and a professional box, or, uh, fighter before all this as well. Um, so like you were saying, like in my notes, I say he throws a lot of kicks. Yep. Um, he mixes in his double leg really nicely. He stops on his knees a little bit, and that's what makes it hard for him to finish some of those mm -hmm. those takedowns. But the bottom line is he's comfortable wherever he's at, so he's okay with stopping on yep. his knees. That doesn't bother him. So how'd you pick this fight? Well, um, given the fact that uh, Aaron Phillips is coming in on short notice, he's coming down to bantamweight from featherweight. Um, he's... I feel like he's got a, a strength disadvantage. I think Jack Shore is just going to be too much for him, and he's going to submit it in the second round. Yeah, we're, we're right on the same page there because I've got Jack Shore with a round one submission. All right. I don't right. think Phillips is ready. So, I just he's he's not going to be able to stop Jack Shore coming in. Jack Shore is too strong. Yeah. Jack Shore is going to get the takedown early, and I think Jack Shore is just going to finish it with a round one submission. All right. I like it.